crinkly. We are officially on the unboxing bench, which means we've got an unboxing. I should probably do an unboxing on the unboxing bench some point and actually post that one. Anyway, unboxing bench. Let's unbox some stuff. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so, pocket knife. Scissors is. Gilly with wings. It's gonna fly away. Wow! Cool. So here we have the uh, cable. Just like that. Instructions. No one ever reads those. And this. All right. It's actually uh, wow. Fairly small. I'm impressed. The last hard drive I owned was five times this size physically, quarter of the size storage-wise. So it was just a uh, donkey of a hard drive. USB 3. Well, uh, let's plug this in and see what she's got. That's the beast back there, the old one. This guy's way, way smaller than that. So I uh, am operating off of a Mac. So that's what I have for this guy. It looks like we just got a little port to plug into here. Can hear it start up. It's not super loud. It's like it pops up on the desktop as elements. Mmm, gotta love you some elements. Get that info. Okay, here we go. That's what we're looking for. Basti, 4Ts. Format, Windows NTFS. File system. That's not gonna fly, because we're on a Mac, so. Yeah. We're Macking it. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe that's actually in the instructions. Just maybe. Some small print. Look at that. I couldn't read that if I tried. Oh, that's also because it's not on the English side. Quick little startup tip right when you open it. Had this lovely little pan out for Macos. I'll give you a little place you can go to there. Is support dot WDC dot So to click on the serial number of this. It's like KB something, something, something. Just type that right here in the search box. KB number. Here we go. How to partition and format a WD drive on Windows and Mac OS. Mac OS 10.13, high Sierra. Yep, that'd be what we're looking for as opposed to low Sierra. Disk utility, all right? So, I'm gonna search box here, open up. Disk utility. Disk utilitarian. Hmm, there it is. Mac HD elements. Okay, here it is. Uh, these pictures aren't exactly high def on their website, I'll tell you that, it looks a little fuzzy. Either that or I need glasses. Oh, wait, look at that. Problem solved. In the top menu bar, go to view and choose show all devices. View, show all devices, already there, bro. Eject, eject. Huh. Oh, yep, it's grayed out, cool. That's what's supposed to happen. 
Selective Drive, WD, My Passport Media, etc. All right, so I'm gonna, oh, and then we're gonna click the erase button. That sounds risky. Good thing I got an eraser. Erase. Please provide a name. We're gonna name this hard drive. We're gonna name it something really good, really important, really, um, yeah. This hard drive is gonna be Doug, but it's big. So we're gonna call him Big Doug. So this here, Big Doug. Erase. Oh, I hope I was supposed to do that. Oh, we are unmounting. Boom, whoop, there he is. Boom, look at that, Doug, Doug. Doug is done. Here we go, let's click that. Oh, let's check the details. Unmount, yeah, cool, cool. Yep, you did what you're supposed to. Operation successful. There we have it. It is live. It is big. And its name is Doug. This is no longer WD Elements. This is Big Doug. So, Big Doug, there's Big Doug. Let's open Big Doug up. Hey, look, we got stuff. Um, I don't know what this is a screenshot of something, but we'll drag, we'll drag it in there. Cool. Now it's on Big Doug. There we go. Western digital elements thing. Um, external hard drive. Rename it something cool that matters. Like Big Doug. That's what I got. There you go. Big Doug. Western Digital, four terabart, Tor terabart. Hey, look, it's a TB terabart. I know a terabart. Speaking. Oh, that's not a microphone. What am I? I don't know.